Republicans, and he is set to go on trial later this year. And Lev Parnas is now joining us along with his attorney, Joseph Bondi. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much to both of you for being with us this morning. I do want to get to this legal case here in a second. Uh, but first, Mr. Parnas, we'd like to ask you about a few other items. We've finally, you finally heard this audio from this July 2019 call between Rudy Giuliani, Kurt Volker, who's a U.S. diplomat, and Andre Yermak, a senior advisor, a top advisor to Ukraine's president. What is your reaction, Mr. Parnas, hearing that audio? Good morning, Brianna. Thank you for having me. Um, it doesn't surprise me. I've heard it live so many times. Uh, I mean, uh, over the the year and a half that that the crusade that Rudy was on, or maybe even a little longer. That's all that you know we heard, and that's all that was wanted. I mean, is to get an announcement from the Zelensky administration, uh, and even that prior to that, even the Poroshenko administration uh, to announce uh, some sort of investigation to the then uh, candidate Joe Biden. Is this helpful to you, this this audio, hearing Rudy Giuliani in his own words? I mean, it's 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 great validation. It's it's just similar to if you remember a little bit over a year ago when uh, then impeach, uh, impeachment of Donald Trump. Uh, we had Devin Nuno sit as the House Judiciary Committee chair, presiding over the impeachment, denying that he knows me, trying to discredit and not have me testify, and then having. Uh, Congress all of a sudden bring out the uh, records that uh, he did have a conversation with me. So it's a vindication, it's validation, and it really, you know, makes me feel good that now uh, the truth is finally coming out because uh, there's a lot more to the story than just this uh, tape. 